Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 2 of the 5 day freelancing series. If you haven't followed the series update or if you haven't watched day 1 of this series, let me quickly tell you we are doing a 5 day freelancing series and the goal of the series is to grab a freelancing opportunity by the end of day 5 and as part of that in day 1 we created a freelancing profile right from the sketch by using the right keywords description adding details to the bio and along with that we also created our very first freelancing service a ci cd service which we call as gig in fiber and we used again the right keywords technologies tools added the description pricing details everything in that gig towards the end of the video i did not publish the gig because i told in the video that i will optimize the gig and along with that i will add few other gigs to my profile so that my profile ranks high in the fiber search basically profile optimization so this video is about profile optimization so that you can increase your chances of getting freelancing clients this video is very very important you will not believe me i just optimized the profile couple of hours back exactly couple of hours back by adding more gigs and i already got message from a freelancing client i got it from switzerland asking if i can help in cloud related activity of course i'll start the negotiation i'll start the discussion i did not do that because i was working on this video so watch the video i'm going to show you how i optimize the profile and after watching the video i'm sure you will also start optimizing your profile because it will rank your profile high on fiverr not only fiverr you can follow the same technique on upwork freelancer any particular freelancing platform so you can see here along with the ci cd freelancing gig i published it right now by optimizing it i also created a cloud migration freelancing gig i created finops freelancing gig and a devsecops freelancing gig if you are a beginner if you are at level 1 of fiverr you can only create four freelancing gigs so that's why i created four gigs now the important thing abhishek how did you choose these particular services now this is very very important i did not randomly create them i did some research i tried to do a research in understanding what most of the freelancing clients are looking for what kind of activities and with that i choose cloud migration finops and devsecops of course kubernetes and terraform were also ranking high so what i am going to do is i am going to monitor the analytics every day and if any of these gigs does not show good analytics i will replace them with kubernetes and terraform so i'll also show you that how to monitor the analytics how to change the gigs we'll also do all of those things but first let me show you how did i create these gigs what did i update in the gigs specially watch out for the finops one i'll tell you why make sure you don't miss the finops related gig which i am going to cover in the video okay so what did i optimize in the ci cd gig that we created last time so i just updated a very good uh, service picture if i can call that basically the picture for the gig so i added something that clearly explains that okay this is the ci cd gig provided by abhishek along with that i added another architecture diagram so 
you can see I added one more design diagram which explains that I can do GitOps and multi Kubernetes cluster deployment using CI/CD as well. And then changed a few keywords because there were some typos as we were creating that live on the video. Now let's go back and look at the cloud migration geek. So cloud migration is a evergreen one. A lot of companies are still on premise and they look for help from the clients. So I created this gig. I am only 80% sure on this gig. So if at all this gig does not show the right analytics. So if nobody is watching for this gig, if I don't get search appearances from the clients, I'm going to replace this gig with Kubernetes. So I also have that backup plan. Anyways, let me quickly show you what did I update in this gig. So I will implement on premise to AWS cloud migration with design and in the cloud providers, it only allows me to choose one uh, cloud provider. So I choose Amazon and in the enterprise option, I choose, you know, whatever or top in the uh, results here and the keyword as cloud. So all that is very basic. What's important is the pricing. So for the pricing, I just choose basic, only the basic pricing. I disabled the standard and premium because I want to watch out for the analytics. If people are watching this gig, only then I'm going to create standard and premium. So in the basic design and manage cloud migration and migrating on-premise application workloads to the cloud platform. If people will be interested, I will add the standard and in the standard, what I'm going to do as a differentiator in basic, I'll just keep design cloud migration in standard design and implement cloud migration and in premium, I am going to add the support as well. That is design implement and support the cloud migration for six months. The pricing $500, which is reasonable if you are a beginner or someone who is starting with freelancing. In the description, this is where you need to add important things because this is the description of the gig where you can add more number of points. What exactly is the service that you are providing? So very important section. And in this, see how I have written the points, data migration, application migration, infrastructure migration. So anybody goes to Fiverr looking for cloud migration, whether they are looking for data migration, application migration or infrastructure migration. Along with that, if they are searching for the keywords such as rehost, lift and shift, refactor, replatform, I have everything in the description. So the chances are my gig will be shown to them. Of course, these are just chances. We will keep updating them. And in the requirements, I just asked, do you have any specific thing existing on your cloud platform? And I just have this very visible uh, service picture or the image. Anybody who looks at it or if randomly someone comes across this gig, even by looking at it for one second, they will understand that cloud migration on AWS provided by this random person if they don't know me. And if they know me, it is even easy. They will click on it and they will try to inquire or they will try to message me. So this is about the cloud migration gig. Now, if you go to the FinOps one, so my hopes are pretty high on this particular one because when I was searching for some keywords or when I'm doing the, uh, you know, optimization kind of thing and doing my R and D, I saw that lot of clients, lot of free freelancing clients are actually looking at cloud cost optimization, cloud cost management, typically the FinOps thing. I know I did not cover FinOps on the channel. I'll make a dedicated video. If you are wondering what exactly is FinOps, 
so it is basically about cloud cost optimization management billing management and lot of good practices around the cloud costing so because it came up very high in the search results i thought i will add this gig and i have a lot of hope on this gig and if you look at what i added to the gig so i added a lot of points i try to make sure that anybody who is searching anything about finops in fiverr they will at least see this gig if not in the top if they scroll they should find this gig so what i'm offering as part of this gig cloud spending review so if there is xyz company i am telling them that i can see your cloud spending and i can review it i can do the usage analysis maybe let's say there is a kubernetes cluster they have three nodes and only two nodes are efficiently used so i can do that usage analysis workload profiling cost allocation cloud cost forecasting which is very important for finops budget alerts spot instances a very basic one like if you have non critical workloads you can use uh, spot instances uh, storage optimization and setup and configuration of finops i have already used uh, the cloud ability uh, in the past so i provided that i can help you with the cloud ability and cloud health and coming to the pricing the basic pricing i put as 200 dollars which is only the cloud cost optimization review so if somebody comes to me and looks at the basic finops service that i am providing it will be the review part i will get on a call with them i will review their uh, complete cloud and i'll give them some analysis maybe a document which says that this is your existing state and this is where you can do better in the standard i am going to design the complete finops practices for them i am going to implement and in premium i am also going to support that so for premium i charged very high 1000 us dollars and of course i mentioned as 14 days but it is negotiable with the client all this is because this is a new freelancing profile don't assume that you know for 14 days if abhishek is doing it abhishek would only do it for 1000 us dollars of course you know it's not possible with all the experience and you know doing freelancing in the past this is definitely not something that i would do but because this is a new profile and we want more eyes on the profile and i'm doing this series so that is the reason why i have this costing on this particular gig okay and finally the other gig that i choose is devsecops definitely a buzzing word lot of companies are adding security related things to their pipelines but along with the ci cd pipelines i have added more things such as cloud security compliance to the devsecops gig again i want to improve the chances so i use the cloud security related keywords and compliance related things i believe not many people would offer compliance related uh, gigs on fiverr so i added that as well so that at least if not in any of these categories at least in compliance and cloud security i want my uh, profile to stand out basic pricing 200 dollars where again i am only going to design and tell them that this is how you can implement but if they want me to implement it would be at the standard pricing and if they need my support it would be at the premium pricing so these are the gigs now you might ask but abhishek how would you monitor these gigs like how will you understand if these gigs are doing well or not just go to this analytics tab and you know you can see here that in the last 30 days how did these gigs actually do we don't have any customers we don't have any clients so that's why the gigs in that particular section it's not showing anything but if you go to the profile section and if you try to add a new gig it will take you to a page and here you can actually see the impression clicks and 
cancellations. So this is not right now completely updated, right? Uh, it takes some time uh, for it to be updated and we just created the gigs. So wait for 24 hours. Immediately the impressions go, don't get updated. The clicks don't get updated. So don't try to refresh every hour and see. Just watch for it every day or watch for it every six hours or 12 hours. Don't keep refreshing and try to look at the analytics and think that your gig is not doing well. You can see here, I have a message. So somebody saw my gig, somebody saw what is the service that I'm offering, but it does not reflect in the impressions because of the same reason. So just give it some time, watch it every morning, just like how you do it with your Nowcree or LinkedIn and see if there are any impressions, see if there are any clicks and if there are no impressions and clicks, we will immediately try to change the gig. We will modify the gig, update the gig, right? So this is how you would do your profile optimization. Lot of people stop at what we did in day one. Understand this carefully. Why am, why am I saying this? Because if you go to Fiverr, search for DevOps and cloud, you will find thousands of profiles, but very few of them are active. What we did in day one, we created the profile, we created a simple gig. That is where a lot of people stop. They think they are not getting the freelancing clients. Nobody is looking at their profile, but very few people will create multiple gigs in an optimized way, doing the research, what is right for their profile, watching the analytics every day, and updating these gigs. Like I mentioned, if let's say cloud migration does not work for me, I will immediately replace it with Kubernetes. If DevSecOps does not work for me, I will immediately replace it with Terraform. So I also have a backup plan. That is how you need to think, right? So I hope you found this video informative. When we move to day three, we will cover more on analytics and we will also see, you know, if we should modify the gigs, if we got any impressions, if somebody reached out to us, if someone messaged us, we will look at all of them. And one thing, if somebody messages you, like this person messaged me, you will immediately get a notification on the email that you have configured. So that's why keep watching the email. You might not watch Fiverr all the time, but if you have the right email configured, you will get a notification. I got the notification. That's how I came to know. One final thing before we conclude this video, many people were asking in the comment section that does it come under moonlighting? Can I do freelancing along with my work that I do for my organization? I'll keep it very short and I'll tell you straight to the point. For some companies, it's okay. For some companies, it's not okay. So if you want to take that risk, you can go to the HR. You can go to your manager and ask your manager or HR, is it okay if I do freelancing outside my work hours by managing my work along with this? Is it okay? If they tell you no, that's up to you. If you want to do it, if you want to do it in any other way, I mean, I don't have to talk it on YouTube, but yeah, so it's up to you how you want to deal with it. But if your company does not allow to allow you to do it as part of your company rules, then yeah, it's not legal. Sometimes it also might come under moonlighting according to your company. But yeah, so the possibilities are endless. How would you do it? How would you not do it? So that's what I wanted to answer to this question. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.